So now we have our error time series map. We also have an ROI where we can extract information from. Once we have that, we can then use that to make correlation maps. So let's get to it. First of all, we have this ROI that we just placed in the metrometer preform cortex, a 5 millimeter sphere. And now we're going to use 3D mask av to extract time course information from that ROI. So 3D mask av and we are going to make it quiet just so that we get the actual uh, signal for each time point instead of some extraneous stuff that we don't need. And we're also going to, let me see here, mask is going to be VMPFC and then that error time series. And we're going to redirect that input into something called time course .txt. So once it's done, just look at time course briefly, just make sure it looks okay. And we can also verify, in fact, there are 156 time points as we had before. Okay, now that we have the time course information, we can use 3D FIM Plus to generate a correlation map from that time course in that seed region. So first of all, the input is going to be the error time series. And we're going to use a polar to 2 to detrend some stuff to make it a little bit cleaner. And we are going to make the ideal file, that time course file that we just made. We're going to output the correlation. And we're going to put this in a bucket called VM PFC, let's say RS for resting state. Okay, once we have that, again, go to your AFNI GUI. If it's already open, just rescan this to load that. And then overlay that resting state. Awesome. Okay, guess so now what you see is a pretty classic pattern of ventromedial prefrontal cortex showing a high degree of correlation with posterior uh, cingulate sulcus or retrosplenial cingulate cortex. And also some precunus as well. Okay, maybe bump this up a little bit just to make it a little bit cleaner. Cluster eyes, let's certainly keep things with 150. And it looks pretty good. So now that we've made our correlation maps, we can just do that same thing for every single subject. Once we have those, we can do a conversion to z-scores and then do a second level test between them.